I had a co uh, a stab. This is a couple of months before COVID, probably January, February. She was going through something with her uh, stepfather who had cancer. So she come to me. Hey, buddy, can you pray for my um, stepfather? Da, da, da. I said, yeah, I pray for her. I said, but you know, Tasha, you can pray for me yourself too. Like, it's mm -hmm. better coming for you than me. Mm -hmm. She said, yeah, I know, but I'm not ready. But before I even had that conversation about God, mm -hmm. first I said, okay. And Jesus is like, tell her about me. I'm like, girl, she just said, she ain't trying to hear about you. Let's be for real. Wow. He said, tell her about me. I said, all right. So I told her, I said, you know, you can pray to God yourself. It's better coming for you than me because mm -hmm. it's direct, mm -hmm. right? She said, yeah, yeah, but I'm not ready for church. I said, hold on, my mom. I said nothing about church. Right. I said, talk to God for yourself. Yeah. You have your own relationship, so you don't have to keep coming to me. Right. You can just straight talk to him. Right. Yeah, I know, but I'm just not ready. I'm like, ready for what? I didn't ask you to go to a church building right. once again. She said, I said, all right. Left alone. COVID happened. We go, on, we go remote, right? <laughs> so my mother got COVID. It was really bad. Mm. Really, really bad. So I had to take her. I had to take her away and take care of her. My aunt, unfortunately, passed away from it. Uh, so my mother, they were just like at the same time, you know, so yeah. it was really a, a trash time. So I said, yo, Tasha, can you, I was a supervisor, hold my position down for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, and please, I know you've been here longer than me. You've been in this mm -hmm. company for a very long time. So you know more than I, you know, you know more than everybody else. So mm -hmm. hold it out until I come back. Mm -hmm. That was a Thursday. Mm -hmm. Saturday, I'm in the shower. And God tells me, text Tasha and see how, how she feels. Text Tasha, ask her how her stepfather's doing. Mm. Text her, no response. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's Saturday. And she's like, oh, girl, leave me alone. It's Saturday. <laughs> it's I don't be bothered. Off. Right, I don't be bothered. The, the rest of the day is just heavy on my heart. Text mm -hmm. Tasha. I text I'm like, the heck, why is she not responding? Mm. Why is she not responding? Sunday come. I said, okay, maybe Sunday she's going to respond because it's closer to Monday. Mm. I get a call from a coworker. Brother, Tasha died. <gasps> Jesus. I'm like, what? Who? Which one? The my she staff? She says, Berta. She said, oh, no. I said, no, your staff, Tasha. Died. I said, the one that I was just talking to on Thursday? Oh, my Lord. And, I, of course, I cried. Right? Cried because I was just like, what is Peter and Stones? At the same time, and this, don't take this wrong. At the same time, I felt relief. Mm. Because when God told me to tell her about, tell him, her about him, I did not know that was her last chance wow. of receiving. Wow. Wow. Like wow. Yo. Oh my gosh, I got goosebumps. Yo. So you don't, he knows the timing of everybody. Yes. So when he tells you, you can't say, oh, I don't want to be offensive. I don't want to hurt their feelings. I don't want to run them the wrong way. Because you're quietly, and Jackie Hill Perry had said this in a song. It's like we're dancing on top of their grave because we don't want to offend them. Wow. Take no offense. Don't be my friend. Like, be oh, offensive. Yeah. Rub them the wrong way. Be considered rude. Be considered an op because you don't know. We never know. And then you're playing with people's forever. Right. Especially when we know the truth. Right. It really, it's actually pretty convicting right now. Um, like just even in households. Yeah. Like if you're living with unbelievers, tell them about Jesus. Yeah. I don't care if you have to do it. Your coworkers, service. tell them about the love of the Lord, regardless of where you are with Christ right now. The truth is still the truth. For me, the sky is still blue, even when right. people say it's purple. Right. Right. You can't negate fact the truth. Fact. Right. You feel me? It doesn't matter where you are on your walk. If you slipped yesterday, the truth is still the truth, and we it needs to come out. Yeah. Because the truth is the only thing that will set you free, and God is the truth, the life, and the way. Yeah. Wow. So that. Well, I guess we're having a house meeting. <laughs> <laughs>